Hello viewers, Marianne from Revealing Light Tarot. How are we all today, wherever you are in the world, when you're watching a huge shout out to you. I wanted to look at Leo for the month of February. I'm using my Aboriginal Spirit Oracle and also my Cosmic Tarot as well for this reading. So let's see what's coming up for Leo. What's happening with Leo? Hmm. Okay, Leo. So the image that I'm getting, Leo, is one of divine uh, protection. In some way, you've got, whether it's passed over loved ones or angels, I'm seeing the image of an angel. So you've got people looking out for you that you may not necessarily be aware of. And it might be something you don't think about. Um, Leo uh, rules the fifth house of self-expression. So, you know, you're very much... You're very much in that creative self-expression mode. You might not even give spiritual matters another thought. Although I guess if you're watching this, you do. But I want you to know there are people who are looking out for you. In the uh, Who may have passed over. Could be your own guardian angels. Okay, just something for you to remember. So show me what is coming up for Leo in February 2021. Leo, February 21. Okay, no, I won't take those. Leo, show me what's coming up for Leo in 2021. So we have accomplishment. Um, you're going to have a win of some sort. In February, uh, so you're going to accomplish something in February 2021. You know, I, I remember reading for you halfway through last year, and for many of you, uh, you'd lost something, whether that was a job or an investment source, something. So there was some some sort of loss, and then I I felt that you would regain your footing there, and 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 I do feel that a lot of you di did. There's something around a win for you in February 2021, something that you're going to accomplish. Ancestral wisdom, again, um, tuning into uh, the strength of those who have gone before you, um, connecting with your ancestors. Uh, as I said, you know, Leo might not necessarily automatically go to spiritual matters, depending on what's it, what else is in your chart. Um, but... Uh, there is uh, some reflection or contemplation that is needed around the strength of those who have gone before you, but also, but also how to heal ancestral wounds as well. Victory and accomplishment and achievement. Maybe that's what you're doing, Leo, in February. You're looking at where those ancestral wounds are and you're already healing them i don't feel you're falling back into old patterns i feel you're actually and this is where the accomplishment is i feel you're um moving out of those old energies in some way this is a, a wisdom and a mature maturity that you're gaining over some area of your life leadership of course, Leos will often be found in leadership. This could be a step up. It could be a new job. It could be something that somebody is offering you. Adventure. Leos love adventure. Could be creativity. This is fifth house energy, sacral chakra energy, creativity and confidence. So I feel that you're going to be... Um, Overcoming something in some way, achieving something in some way, a project that you're working on, if that is a creative project, is going to move forward. And it's also time to look at that ancestral wisdom to connect with past over loved ones if you're spiritually inclined. Just to think, and how do we do that? We think about them, we remember them. And you are, the message that I got at the beginning is that you're being divinely protected. Whether you know it or whether you don't, you are. Okay, so let's take a look 
via a Celtic cross. This is a general reading. If it resonates, claim it. If it doesn't, move on. Come back to it later on. There might be something there for you. For your sun signs, your rising and your moon. If your moon is in Leo, let's take a look at what's coming up for Leo in February 2021. Something's jumped out there. Ace of Cups, new starts, emotions. That's a beautiful card. Could even be romance for some. All right, show me, show me what's coming up for Leo in February, please. Spirit Leo in February. Right, we have strength. This is your card. You've come out in your own reading. This is an important reading for you. The strength card is the signifier card. Challenged by the Queen of Wands. Okay, so this is Sagittarian energy. Uh, but it is also fire energy and the queen of wands sees what what is unseen and brings forth stability um, as a result of her passion of, of a result of her seeing around corners so to speak she's she's intuitive she brings that she brings that forward now that's in the challenge position so again connecting with spirit using your intuition will can only strengthen you the ten of wands yeah you might have been taking on too much in the past that's the foundation of the reading it's time to end that now some of you could be moving on to something new because those first cards that i pulled for you indicated that there could be something new coming along um, for you the past temperance balance Leo's um, in that fifth house again, self-expression, you know, life of the party, needing to um, balance uh, around uh, play and work. I feel you did that or you're doing that and that could be part of the lesson that was learned here. The moon is crowning this reading. Need to look uh, again into uh, what might be holding you back. What needs illumination? The moon card. It can be a surge of emotions. Can also be not seen clearly about something. That's crowning the reading. It's not an actuality. It's a potential. Four of Wands. Happiness. Reunification. Reuniting. Family gatherings. You might even travel to see family in February. The Princess of Pentacles, there's some sort of new start. Are you going to um, change jobs? Is there some kind of um, money coming to you that was owed to you? The Emperor taking control of finances is a strong message for some. The Emperor taking control, but you being the Emperor, showing that strength. The Eight of Swords in the hopes and fears restricting yourself. Again, Leos don't like to be restricted. And, and I understand why that has come up in the fear position. But this is only in your mind. It's only in your thoughts. The Eight of Cups here. There's something you've got to leave behind, Leo. There's something that you've got to, this repetitive cycle, you've got to leave behind. Once you do, you're free. Five of Pentacles. It could be a, a matter of confidence, feeling like, you know, you don't belong. It could This could be money loss for you as well. These are good cards for if that is your circumstances. And the Six of Swords, moving on, moving out of troubled waters. I think in February, if you've been taking part-time work or, you know, I think that you're going to find that things consolidate find that things stabilize for you financially the world ending a cycle moving on is what i feel is the strong energy the judgment card something is coming to an inevitable end and it's doing so very very quickly now here is your support whenever you feel like you're going to self-sabotage remember that there are those in the spirit world looking out for you. You're never alone. You're always, uh, you always have that protection there. It's time to tune into it. 
It's time to walk with that knowing that there is that protection there. It's time for all of us, regardless of your tarot uh, sign, or sorry, regardless of your sun, your, your zodiac sign, it's time for us all to walk in the knowledge that we do have people looking out who have passed over. We do have these protective, angelic, upper world energies here that are there for us. It's time to remove the doubt and understand that we are so much more than what we think. Thank you for tuning in, uh, Leo. I'll be back again with another reading soon. Thank you.